All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a tough video because I don't know what to think right now. I mean, I, I, we keep on winning and our chances keep getting smaller. Crazy, right? And I, th our chances of getting in the playoffs are probably as bleak as they were versus the Raiders game at the end when Derek Carr, after he had got the first down and started stretching for the end zone, it's that bleak. So it, he could... Somebody could fumble out the end zone. In this case, fumbling out the end zone is like four or five games going in our way that will flip everything and, and allow us to get in the playoffs, which is going to be tough. So all we have to do is just, is just bear down win these last two games because, I mean, of course, there's one train of thinking like all we did in these last five games, if we don't get in the playoffs, is put a Band-Aid over Jason Garrett again, saved his job, and then our cowboy organization, they're, they're, like, they're almost like political operatives to where they will create their narrative. They will pick up, pick, and pick, cherry pick all the good things out of the season. They will send it through Mickey Spagnola and all their people at DallasCowboy.com and their media outlets. And they will tell everybody what to think in the offseason. Oh, all that needs to be changed is this, this. We don't need to be, we were almost there. If we had did this and all that kind of stuff, they do it every year. And the Cowboys push their personal narrative instead of getting to the truth of what actually happened so you can make the adequate changes to get better. In my opinion, that's why we are a, an average organization with above average players, but an average organization because it, it, it doesn't seem like winning is the focus. It seems like doing their, their, what, what, what their uh, agenda is, what, they want to win, but they want to win how they want to win. They want to win, but they want to win with Jason Garrett. They want to win, but Jerry Jones was, you know what I'm saying? So they have their own agenda in the way they want to win, which is not the adequate way to, to build a champion. So um, we're going to have that problem in the offseason. And I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to get any changes. I'm not sure if we're going to get a change in defensive coordinator, which we need. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, come on. The Tampa 2 is completely outdated. We need somebody new, somebody young. Offense, the, 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 the offensive, offensive passing system doesn't work. It doesn't work. And if you say that, our offensive pass, passing was only Tony Romo back when, when Tony Romo was with us, then it is nobody now because you can't expect a second-year quarterback to have the knowledge of Tony Romo to be able to run an offensive system. And if Romo, Romo wasn't getting the offensive system so he can succeed, there's no way a rookie who doesn't know anything yet is getting the information that he needs to succeed. So the passing situation is bleak. As bleak as it gets, we don't see any creativity. We see the, the end arounds and the little screen passes to the wide receivers that never have worked. That's, that, that's our creativity. So I, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to change that, but I want somebody new. Of course, on offense, I want, I want an a offensive coordinator that could kick your behind on Madden. That, that, is that, I, I bet Sean McVay will destroy you on Madden. I want somebody new. That, that, that has creative ideas and how to get people open. And, and we need a Dak friendly offense. I don't know how you do it, but you know what I'm talking about. Dak is not Tony Romo. We're still running a Tony Romo fit friendly offense with Tony Romo type receivers. We need Dak type receivers, yak receivers. Because Dak cares about the open guy rather than throwing a guy open. And I don't even think Dak will have the ability for seasons to come to be able to throw people open. So it's best to get guys who can run routes and get open so Dak can get the ball to the open guy. So he run, runs a totally different style of offense than Tony Romo. And we're forcing him to run a Romo style offense. So all of that needs to be changed. But will it? But will it? I seriously doubt it. I think five wins at the end of this football season, you're going to talk about all the injuries we overcome and this and that. And we I got won 10 games and they're going to paint this, this beautiful picture. But you and I know that these three games that they've won so far against extremely subpar teams playing horrible football games, playing horrible football games. It'd be totally different if we went through those three games and like, wow, Cowboys are clicking. Cowboys are clicking. No, 
I mean, one of those teams really, really, really gave us the football game. Not like they gave us the football game. No, the Oakland Raiders really gave us the football game. So th these were, th this is the stuff I'm talking about. And remember this video right now. And that's why I wanted to make it right now. Because whatever happens, if we win these last two games and, and, and end up 10-6 and six and don't get into the playoffs, this is the narrative you're going to hear. And we're not going to change much. We're going to come in focused, rededication. You know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna say something and, and, and tie it into a slogan or whatever. And we're going to come in the next season the same way. Because we are clearly an average or organization from the top. We are an average organization right now with average results from the top from the last 20 years. Average organization with average results from the front office and above. Why they won't change anything? I have no idea. All right, guys, I'll be here watching football this weekend. Come walk, watch with me. We can just, hey, it's just like we were at the end of the Oakland Raider game. Like, hope something happens because, you know, if we get in, we're going to be excited as I don't know what. But we cannot forget how we got here and what, what situation we were in by must winning five games to maybe get in. That's not cool. All right, guys, I'll at you. Peace.